Hi everybody! Welcome to Bedtime Storybook Club, Reading with Miss Angel. That's me. I'm reading to you. This is day 12 of reading a book a day while we're all physically distancing. We don't have to be socially distanced. That's up to you to leave a comment. But uh, today's story is Nicholas, Where Have You Been? by Leo Leoni. Uh, this is a story um, that I grew up with and actually grew up with the series of books that this uh, artist and uh, author wrote. So I hope you enjoy it and I hope your children enjoy it as much as I have most of my life. Nicholas, Where Have You Been? by Leo Leoni. At the edge of the great meadow, four little field mice were nibbling berries. Look for the red ones, said Elodie. They're the sweetest and juiciest, said Henry. Because they're ripe, said William. But all they could find were pale pink berries that were neither sweet nor juicy. The ripe red ones had already been picked. The birds got her before yo dad said Uncle Raymond, who was watching them. That's not fair, said Nicholas. Why should they get the best berries? Down with the birds! Down with the birds! All the little mice shouted. Then and there, Nicholas decided to look for a berry patch that the birds had not yet discovered. He would find the sweetest and juiciest berries in the whole world. Without telling anyone, he set out across the great meadow. He walked on and on, seeing nothing but the tall grasses that surrounded him. At last, Nicholas reached a clearing. He scanned the horizon, but there wasn't a berry in sight. Then suddenly he heard the noise of flapping wings. He looked up. A big, ugly bird swooped down on him. Before Nicholas could run back into the tall grass and hide, the bird grabbed him with his sharp claws and carried him up into the sky. Help! Help! Nicholas shrieked. He twisted and wiggled wildly, and the bird lost its grip. Nicholas plunged through the air. He landed in a nest where three little birds were dozing. They jumped up. Hello! They asked. and he told them about his adventures. Stay with us, said the birds. You can tell us the mouse stories and we will tell you all about birds. Then their mother appeared with a worm. Mother, said one of the little birds. This is Nicholas, a field mouse. May he stay with us? Of course, said the mother bird. said Nicholas. Field mice like nuts and corn and berries, ripe, ripe berries. The mother bird flew off and soon returned with bright red berry. Nicholas couldn't believe his eyes, and it was the sweetest berry he had ever tasted. The days flew by. Nicholas ate berries to his heart's content. He and the little birds peeped and tweeted mouse songs, bird songs, and funny stories. And at night, they cuddled up against the mother bird's soft down. But one morning, Nicholas woke up to discover that his friends had flown away. They had left a big pile of berries in the nest, but Nicholas was too sad to eat. Nicholas knew that the time had come for him to leave the high nest. Fearfully, he climbed down the tree from branch to branch, from twig to twig. When he finally reached the ground, he found himself face to face with Elodie, Henry, and William. Nicholas! they shouted. Where have you been? We have been looking all over for you. Nicholas began to tell them what had happened. But when he told 
how the big, ugly bird swooped down and grabbed him with his claws, the others became furious. And before Nicholas could add another word, they shouted, Down with the birds! We're on birds! We're on all the birds! They shouted on and on. Let me finish! Nicholas insisted desperately. Let me finish my story! When the mice had finally quieted down, Nicholas told them about the nest, the birds, the songs, and the stories. Little by little, the anger faded from their faces. Suddenly, they shouted, Nicholas, look behind you! Nicholas turned around. There were the birds. In their beaks, they carried the ripe red berries he knew so well. For you, they said. Just then, Uncle Raymond appeared from behind a tree. He smiled and slowly raised his cane. That shows you, he said. One bad bird doesn't make a flock. Then he joined the others. It was a feast. Everyone, including Uncle Raymond, agreed that the berries were the most delicious they had ever tasted. The end. That was Nicholas, Where Have You Been? So, like I said, I grew up on these stories. And while as a child, all I thought about was the adventure of it and how he got berries and he made friends. Now, as an adult, I'm seeing the parts of it where his friends were worried about him and looking for him for a really long time. Long enough for those birds to learn how to fly away. So... He's lucky that he met some nice birds. He's lucky he got out of the clutches of the, the big crow-looking bird's claws. He's lucky he landed in a nest with, with the nice birds who took care of him and later brought berries for him and his friends. But, boy, that could have ended so many different ways. Have you ever been in a situation that when you look back on it, I can't believe I made it out of that one okay. I have a lot of them, but most of them aren't appropriate for this channel. Anyway, I hope that you make better choices than Nicholas. Like if you go off on your own, please tell somebody where you're going. In fact, maybe just don't go off on your own, especially right now. Keep your physical distancing, but keep your battle buddies nearby. Have a nice day. I'll see you tomorrow. I almost forgot. If you like these, share them. Subscribe right here. Follow me on Facebook at Bedtime Storybook Club. Share that with your friends. Join in the conversation. And then right here, if you want to watch more of these, uh, should give you a nice little link. Have a nice day.